All right, guys, welcome back. We're at another Dirt Perfect video. As he's discussed many times in many previous videos, everybody's like, DP, why don't you get bigger stuff? Well, I'm here to tell you, if he gets bigger stuff, he needs bigger permits. So today, we're going to go through, we're going to weigh his new combination with his new big green toy back here. We're going to find out exactly what it weighs and if he's in compliance or not. So I stay tuned for more. I think I might have crossed the line. <laughs> um, I think we got to start this off by explaining that this is different from state to state. Yes, this I, is Indiana only. I operate in the state of Indiana. The state of Indiana does not Ooh. have an annual overweight you. permit. Correct. No, because uh, each time you apply for a weight permit, they do a road study. They, they punch in your route that you've requested, and then they go through and they check all the bridges and all everything viaducts and all that good stuff and they check to see if the weight basically if your route can handle the weight i'm going to so. call bs on most of that but we'll save that for a whole nother video hey, so that that's the legal response and you <laughs> float your bs canoe down whatever canoe road you <laughs> yeah, yeah i can't help you there i wish but. i understand why we can't have annuals up to like 120,000, but i feel like we could have an annual up to 90 because we give farmers a 10 percent gross up to 88 anyways so I'm back on the farmer kicking in. But anyways, I don't want to go Chris. too far down that rabbit hole because that's a whole different conversation. So basically with this setup here, correct me if I'm wrong, we're allowed 20 on the steer axle yeah, with the right tire. Yeah, with the right tires, with the right rating. And remember, when we discuss all this, we're coming back to tire weight rating. So anytime we talk about the front steer axle, it's going to come down to tire weight rating. Everybody thinks 12,000 is the max. I'm here to say no. It's whatever your max tire weight rating okay. is. So, so let's just call that maximum up to 20. Yep, maximum up 20. We're gonna look at that here in a few minutes and we'll we'll determine what that this is. This is a tandem set. Yep. Maximum up to 34. 34,000 on a tandem group. And then if we go to the back of the trailer, this is a tri-axle setup, yep. Yep. which would be a maximum up to 50. But yeah, state of Indiana will grant up to 50,000 pounds for a tri-axle group. Now, with that being said, it's gonna also look at these two axles side by side are going to max out at 34,000. So whether it be 34 here or 34 here in the remainder, it's kind of how we look at the triaxle. Now my, uh, tri I'm not real bridge. good at math, but if I add 50 plus 34 <laughs> plus 20, that is way over 80. Eight. So I'm good, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's back it up here. So just because that's what the max limit is, doesn't mean that you can exceed that. The max is going to be 80,000 pounds and then anything over 80,000 pounds you have to apply so for this is what i stress in my videos a lot we like to be nimble and be quick and move and not be told what roads to take because we don't know where we're working or what time of day we're working or i'm just making up a bunch of excuses right now trying to sound important and i know them <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, but basically yeah. if this combination right here is under 80,000 pounds we don't have to get any special permits or any special permission from the state. We can pretty much travel yeah, as long when, as we're, we're on talking weight because you've already roads. got your width permit, and that's another thing. All we're talking about in this video is just the weight. Just so the weight. basically, once this combination, I have the axles that carry more weight, but once this unit goes over 80,000 pounds, at that point, I have to apply for the overweight permit yes. which is uh and then at that point they give me a route i follow it and i have yeah, to fly or, it per trip exactly and then what you do in your application process is you you basically permit per axle so you go down the line and you kind of permit per axle and typically what they do is okay how much do you want typically on permits it's 14 14 5 on the front steer um 20 000 per per axle setup so you could permit that up to 40 and then coming back here and you could permit 20 20 and 20 so you could permit 60 40 and potentially 14 or whatever so basically i could permit this up to about 114,000 somewhere in that neighborhood yes with the with the permit and then also on our indiana permits is say you're going to be traveling from derby to tell city then what you would do you'd input what road you plan on traveling then they do a route survey to see if at a hundred and what let's just say you permit this for ninety five thousand. then they would look and see if your approved permit route 
for state highways. And I've, I've applied and got a few of these. I mean, the, the route, the mileage, the weight all affects the price. Um, I mean, they can be cheap or expensive, I guess, is the best way to say yeah. it. But it, it usually takes, usually you can get one within a couple hours of applying for one. Yeah, typically. If it's, if it's pretty you cut know, and dry. a pretty, yeah, pretty cut and dry route, pretty cut and dry weight, um, you can get them fairly quick. But then again, you know. So what we're going to do is uh, Hoover's got his portable scales here, the same scales he would use on a roadside stop to oh, weigh yeah. this rig if he, if he caught us out on the road. So we're actually going to weigh this truck we're going to weigh each axle find out what permit we need to make sure we properly fill out far and see what this uh, weight of this new unit yeah. is with the ripper yeah. so because you got it and so what's the uh first things first you need to go ahead and pull up on the scales and see what happens yep yep if we're overweight i'm sure it's because of the snow yeah yeah <laughs> there's snow and ice might have a factor sir all right let's see what happens all righty driver we're going to pull forward just about a foot foot only just watch for hand signals. Smooth and easy. Smooth and Smooth easy. Smooth my middle name. Let me see the rear. Up, back about that much. Good. Light as a feather, just like I thought. Uh, driver, I need to you back up in the cab. Oh, we need to equate for your weight. <laughs> oh man! All right. Does this mean I can haul more than Chris? <laughs> so these are a little we'll, bigger we'll, than my bathroom scales. Yeah. They look a little more expensive too with those big. Well, yeah, that's what. I cannot believe I got 3,000 pounds of snow on there. <laughs> and man, I don't like whenever he gets quiet. Don't say nothing and he starts that's taking notes. I, <laughs> dang it! I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do math. Quieter, buddy. I would always round down. Rounding down is always good. I have been rounding down. Yeah. I always round down. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, got to carry the one. Oh no! Uh, oh gosh! Eight, eight, and eight. That's sixteen plus the one is seven. So that's one. Add seventeen thousand to eighteen thousand. Interested buying that ripper back? <laughs> well, I noticed there's three components missing. Can the CNC guys? Can you tell me how much extra those weigh? Because what's eight? <laughs> Let's see. Well, who signed who? <laughs> who brought this guy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So everybody on YouTube land, double check my math, but we got we got ten thousand one hundred pounds on the front axle. So what we do is we go to the tire. So let's yeah, we'll go there in just a second. Um, so axle two and three, we're looking at thirty-five thousand. Now on uh, axle, so max at thirty-four. But to kind of throw him a bone and get this on camera. Because I am going to throw you a bone. If you step back and look, the rear of the trailer is, Facing is down. a little up. So the idea of this is gross weight. So we're looking gross weight. Because I, I, I get this a lot roadside. Whoa, the truck's left to right. We're not worried about left to right. We're worried more about front to back. So if I was in this situation, I would not feel comfortable riding an overweight violation. But right now we do have 35,000 on this tandem group. But like I said, for the video and where we're sitting, if I was real worried about actually getting an actual, actual true, we'd try to get somewhere a little more level. No. I, I would feel more comfortable with the rear of the trailer trying to be a little more level. So. 2,000 spare on the front axle, we can just... Yeah, just... just yeah. Somewhere. Well, we're not looking at farmer ways and weighing. <laughs> Come on. We're, we're in the excavator world now. So... Yeah. So, so you know, looking at this, me personally, I would not feel comfortable because I just feel like that trailer's a little higher. So, so what's our total um, weight on the truck currently? Total weight? More math? Gosh, darn it. Well, it'd be 45, six. 45, six. So 45, six. So the let's look at the, heavy. so let's look at the front tire rating and we're only at 10, one. 
so we're not but and he did such a nice job guys look, look at, at this right up, it, on top. right up on top what's this kg gee whiz what's t gee whiz all right where's right the there, pounds right there all right so 58 no that's dual whoop, whoop. 6175 yep which I love that. That's another one of those. If you load it in dual, you have a tire to help you. It's less than if you're running single. But anyway, so, so 61, see, see that right there. 6175. So basically, that'd give me a little over 12,000 pounds I could legally carry on the front axle with these tires. You, you can do 12, 350. And we're at 10,000. Yeah. So 12, 350. So obviously we're going to be overweight when we get back to the truck, but the truck's actually sitting halfway decent because the back tandems are over a little bit, but it may be due to where we're sitting yeah, at. Yeah, it's but probably... I, I could probably move that dozer six inches and correct that if I needed to. Oh, back, further Fold back? Further back, yeah. 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 And, uh, and like I said, I really, my gut's telling me, with my experience and everything, my, my gut's telling me with that... Yeah, I don't being, know if you guys can yeah. see, but the parking lot's not perfectly flat, so the trailer's We're actually uphill a, a little so, bit. So. so that's why I'm not too too excited just yet, so we'll see what... So now we need to uh, basically take these scales, move yep. them to the back. Yep, we're going to do we'll the scale shuffle. shuffle. All right, so scale shuffle. When we come back, let's do the YouTube magic. We do the YouTube magic? Scales from... Hold on, how's it work? Does it go like I, this? It's... I don't know. I don't, we got to do it again. We didn't time it right. Oh, well. Well, I thought you were perfect. <laughs> this much. Foot long sandwich. Two foot. One, oh, whoa. Seven, one. Now the main thing is we're still under 50. So with the permit, we can be legal. Yeah. Yep. It, it's called it's called waiting game. <laughs> yeah, whole truck. All right, we got uh, we got a total officer Hoover. Now I think those the, the Camel boys are gonna have probably a, a no, hold, no. total total truck total truck. What's your total truck guess? Hold, hold on, no. so basically my, I got my guess seventy nine nine nine. Okay. <laughs> That's a nice guess. Mine was 84. All right, so first, all right, first all right, guess. All right, so we got 84. Yeah, 87, 7. 87, 7. 85. 85. 86, 5. 86, 5. 86, 4. 86, 5. 88. Oh. He's 100 pounds off. Yeah. 88, 100. 88, 100. It is how much? Yeah. <laughs> Well, the fine is zero until do you want I get on that this county or my county. <laughs> yeah, I get, don't I get my 10% farmer gross? Farmer gross? What the? There's no farmer gross. Yeah. Yeah, 20%. 20%. All right, Hoover, so let's kind of recap here a little bit. Basically, we've decided we weighed 81,100, 500, somewhere in that neighborhood. No, 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 no. 80. We'll, we'll get to that. Oh, so, yeah. 88,100. Yeah. Right. All start, right. So, start that over. Start that over. ladies start and over. gentlemen, start we've, over. Start our over. final computations are in. The final gross amount is 88,100 pounds. So, like I said, anything greater than 80,000, Dirt Perfect needs to obtain a permit for that. So, what we're going to kind of do is break down the weights, go over a little bit about the weights, axle, all that stuff, real quick. So, basically, what are axle weights four and five? I got it broken down four and five to make sure that Which you know we're not over four, four, four five, and five, six, six. Knows. So we got 28 on these two, and on the triaxle group of 50, we got 43,000. So we're under our 50. So axle weights are all good. Like I said, I, I'm pretty confident that if we we're a le little more level, I bet some of that could fluctuate this And I way. do have room to move that dozer this way yeah. to get that 1,000 pounds shifted back here where I have capacity it, for it. Exactly. So, so axle weight, we're not quite as worried about. But yeah, the overall gross, 88,100. So uh, you, you stated your truck and trailer weighs empty 37,000. Correct. So that means the dozer is 51,000. 500 
I don't know how we got a 500 out of it. Anyway, <laughs> we, we all decided 51.5. So with 51.5. So the next, so basically what we're going with this is, is load securement. Yeah, now we need to make sure yeah. we have enough chains. Because there's two parts. There's 393.130, the specific equipment requirements, which is the four corners, blades, and all that. And the second part is the actual weight. We so we determined a... actual weight is 51.5. So we take that by half. And after many minutes of computation, that was 25,750. So basically so, about 25, I'm gonna come around here to where we can see, there's 25,750. This is the number we have to have in chains and binders to be legally tied down. To, ha to meet the federal load securement guidelines. Gotcha. So what we've done, and I, this, is, this is how I found it, make it easiest on me. And I'm, I'm a simple mind when it comes to math. So I've got these two lines, two lines here, representing these two chains so these two chains being that they're coming they're tied to the top coming down to the trailer the weakest link is the chain 6600 but since it's attached here to there it gets half so it's 33 so we've got two so we got 6600 and then we come up here again to the load to the trailer both sides weakest links the chain so we're going to give this 6600 we're coming back here and, and just to be clear we're giving this 6600 we're giving this one 3300 mm -hmm. and giving it its counterpart on the other side 3300 yeah. and giving it 6600 and then this one since it goes from the one side of the trailer up over down into the other side we're going to grant him 6600 so it gets full working load it gets full working load so this does not it gets half this does it gets the full so six six times four 26400 so we are cutting it close very now, close so what would what would throw you in a bind is if we had anything loose and any chains damaged broken bent anything like that so this on, is the situation if i had an extra chain throw on this and i had one chain loose i would i could still possibly come in so what what would happen and that's a perfect scenario so let's run with that okay let's say on we stop and this whole binder setup is loose okay or it has a bad link or has a bad link or you know a little bit of anything but say you ran a chain up and through and came down and you got some extra load securement so what would happen would be you got enough working load limit to cover so you pass the part b the weight but what would happen you technically you're in violation of 3931 which is the four 30, corners which is the four corners which you violate that technically it's an out of service okay so now say this say this one's loose your extra one's loose and this is tight and i go around add everything up your requireds are all tight everything's good on the weight but yet you have one that's extra and it's loose as long as it's not getting ready to fall off and be considered loose dunnage, you're not in violation. So that's why I always say, throw an extra. You're never going to get penalized for having too much. And it, this is one of those, it's never as cut and dry as easy as it should be. And whenever it comes to these axle weights, every state's different. Some states will get you an annual overweight yeah. permit up to 90,000. Indiana doesn't do that. So just to recap here, hopefully this makes a little bit more sense of why I've sized a lot of my equipment I have in my past. It's one reason why I don't have a 220 excavator because it'd be in the same, they weigh 50,000 pounds, which is identical to this. We'd be permitting every time we wanted to move. This piece of equipment, as we knew going into this, and we have proved now, is going to have to be permitted to move. The other 850 does not have to be permitted to move. My other excavators do not have to be permitted to move. So going forward, we'll know, doing this, we'll know exactly what we need to do to exactly. do it properly. Exactly, and, and like I said, when, he, when he's talking permitted to move, what we're talking about is specifically the weight. Right. So, you know, um, the width because i do carry an annual, annual we do issue over width exactly over width permits exactly that, so. so i don't want people to think you're running around no permits but right but now that you've added this to your fleet you've added the trailer it's now time to add a little bit to the paperwork so. and the one reason i'm going to justify this right now is this is the one piece of equipment gets moved the least it goes to the bigger jobs it stays there the longest the other equipment hopscotches a lot more so and, it, we can justify doing what we need to do it's yeah. definitely not as near as convenient for what we do but it's what we have to do to do it properly so yeah 
as always, sir, we definitely appreciate your uh, Not a problem. time, your knowledge. We know exactly where we're at, what we need to do. Now, <laughs> now we just got to go do it. <laughs> exactly. And if there's anybody out there that's more interested in the load securement stuff, feel free to reach out to the Facebook page, Indiana State Police CVED. I've got a whole worksheet I've put together that covers all the working load limits, how to computate it everything so if you're interested in that reach out on and Facebook and we do have and we'll another video on the channel doing load securement absolutely if you guys want to check that out it's actually a pretty good video as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to like subscribe and comment I will try to link his Facebook page down below so if you guys got any questions you can get a hold of, hold of him as always thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one on the next one